Uh, Mike, uh, <coughs> estimated walkthrough yesterday, does Ryan have any chance of doing anything today or, or is Will starting on Thursday? Yeah, I don't see Ryan being able to do much today, so I would imagine that, uh, you know, as of today, it'll be Will unless something changes, so we'll see. Um, but right now, I don't see Ryan being able to do much with the ankle. With Chris, uh, short week turnaround for Hubbard, it's tough to get through a concussion protocol with, with the short turnaround? If you really have a concussion, yeah, I mean, which he, he does, and he'll be in protocol. So I don't know anybody else, but if you have a concussion, I would imagine it'd be difficult to pass the protocol in four days just, just for going forward. <laughs> uh, that wasn't meant for this specific, just meant in general. Well, I think it's everybody. Everybody's check, taking it on. He's just a lot of hours and come in after the game. And, you know, players, you know, it, it's up to them to physically try to do everything that they can. And we can help them, you know, just recover. And, and again, today's, you know, a Friday in our minds. And this is you know, where we have to be. And we've got to, we've got to work. And we've got to trust the process that by Thursday night, uh, that they'll, they'll feel better. Well, talk to you, like, talk to you, what would you say is the biggest challenge in such a turn, quick turnaround against a defense like the Steelers? Uh, I'm assuming that you said the short turnaround. Just you know, it's a new opponent. You know, I mean, it's everything is just sped up, and you know, we we talked about what it is physically, but just the the mental preparation that goes on to you know a new a new opponent, new scheme, new players that they have to learn. Uh, so I think that's a challenge as well. Is playing on a short week tough on rookies who probably never really did that in college? Unless they played in the MAC, I, you know, I don't know. I just, you know, we're all trying to do the same thing is, is get get ready to go for Thursday night. In your time with him here, since he's been here, how quickly have you seen him be able to pick up stuff and learn stuff? Who's that? Will, sorry. Well, he's, been able to just take the installation as it came in the in the summer. Um, did, did a nice job with that, you know, like whenever he got here in the spring. And um, probably some of that changes now during the season, just game plan specific wise. But I think he'd been able to handle the volume of, you know, stuff that we put in. I know Watt would be primarily on, on Nick coming, coming from that side. but. How is he maybe different or the same as Garrett in terms of, of what he brings and what you have to try to stop? I mean, he's a talented player. He's long, he's athletic, he's instinctive, and you know, we'll, have to, we'll have to do a great job on the edges. Um, you know, High Smith is explosive and fast and can rush upfield. He's got a good spin move. and you know, So we'll have to make sure that those guys are accounted for and try to you know, get hats on them, and, and also get guys out in the route when we when we throw the football. What's the challenge, I guess, for you, Mike, in, in a short week, trying to figure out what you can fit into the schedule, what you can take out, maybe what's most important in preparation? Well, it's all about mental prep. I mean, we won't do anything with uh, any sort of, you know, tempo until tomorrow. Really, I just it's all about getting you know recovered as as much as they can, um, get move around a little bit, just. Still a walk through and try to get as many, you know, mental reps in as that we can, and formations, and breaking the huddle, and working with the the, the crowd noise and the environment of a, you know, Thursday night game in, in Pittsburgh. How was McCreary thing? I know he's dealing with the hamstring. How is he coming along? Um, progressing and he's working hard to, to get back out there and you know, might have a chance to to play. We'll see. But uh, you know, Rogers. Uh, been pretty durable and, and been pretty um, resilient, I think, since he's been here. So hopefully, you know, he'll, he'll keep progressing. What well, stood out watching Ken Pickett this season? Have you seen progress from his right here? Yeah, I mean, I think that there's ability to, to have command of the offense. He's whether it's a no huddle, he's got good movement skills. Um, he's got you know new new weapon back here in Deontay Johnson uh, Pickens. I think he throws the the deep ball. I think Kenny's got good composure. You know, he looked at Baltimore and the way that they pressured him, and then the ability to come back, recognize it, you know, hit a big play in that football game, and you know that's not an easy defense to to go against. So for him to be able to uh, one 
you know, essentially have a mistake with, you know, a free blitzer and, you know, take a sack. I mean, took care of the football, but then recognize it later on in the game and, you know, be able to go up top to Pickens. What would you think of Eric in relief of McCrary and what could he carry over from that if you need him again this week? Um, I mean, I thought it was okay. You know, I mean, again, first action, you know, some things that we need to fix. And, you know, but he wasn't the only one with defensive breakdowns. So I think, you know, he's got, Eric's had a great attitude since he's been here. He's been competitive. He's uh, worked hard in preseason to, to get noticed. I mean, this is a tryout guy. This is a guy that didn't have, you know, just was given the opportunity to come here and try out and earned a roster spot on his, you know, the 90 man and then through the preseason got a practice squad. So proud of what he's done and, and we'll continue to, to work with him and, you know, see him, see him catch some punts. I think you mentioned being mentally prepared a bunch today. Uh, where do you see your team mentally right now? Do you feel like there's a good momentum in the clubhouse, like this team has a new lease on life coming off to win? I think so. I think that, that yesterday was was good. I mean, it's it's tough. I mean, a day after the game and bringing them in at 1230, and you never never know what you're going to get. Um, but we got out there, and by 430, I thought that there was uh, great energy. I thought the guys were buying into the fact that it was Thursday in their minds and just trying to – you know, trick ourselves a little bit. So I was really you know, pleasantly surprised about just the, the energy yesterday uh, that we had just one day removed from the game. What's Trey did on his first game back? Were you? I'm sorry, guys. What, what did you think of Trey on in his first game back? Was he kind of fully Yeah, we're, to... I, I had the opportunity. We're going to focus on Thursday night, and hopefully he can help us there. But, you know, just the recap was, was saved for yesterday. We got a short week focused on Pittsburgh, and Trey has got to help us. And, you know, maybe fix up some details that he can use on Thursday night. Trade deadlines in less than two hours. You expect to stay stay quiet there, or, or no? Wait, see what happens, and see if anybody calls. Or, but I'm, as of now, there's no news to report. Who's not practicing? Not too many people. Uh, Ryan, Chris, Chris Moore uh, is away on a. Uh, not injury related. Um, you know, Roger will do a little bit. You know, he'll be limited, but not too bad. Did you have another question? I'm sorry. Uh, I was just going to ask. You've had some success on this Thursday game. What's the biggest? You talk mental and physical. What's the biggest key? You think, to just being ready those are the two. I mean, don't, you, you don't have much time to practice. You have to be realistic on what you can ask of the players. Um, you got to get some buy-in from from your veterans. You know, these the, the training room was, was packed yesterday, and you know, after we walk through, it, it's crowded, and try to get a recovery lift. And you know, we, we did striders yesterday to just to try to get things moving. And you know, so it's it's about the players buying in to to believing that it's Thursday and that you know, we're playing Sunday night. Yeah, yeah, Chris will be back. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, uh, Tim. How did you see, uh, looking at the tape, how Will handled, uh, you know, his first uh, start, first, you know, first game action since August, uh, and and how many areas does he have to clean up? Yeah, uh, he did a good job. He went out and um, and operated efficiently. <clears throat> uh, did a good job being able to go and make some big throws. Uh, and, and, and made some plays for us. Um, just like every game, there's areas where, where we're looking to improve. Obviously, we want to be better. Uh, you know, the two minutes real at the end of the half, um, and, and just some some decisions and things along those lines. But yeah, he went out and executed the game plan and did a good job. Is it a chess game now, where Pittsburgh responds to what they saw on tape, but you kind of have to respond to their response? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I, I think anytime you're going into a game, there's there's a little bit of that going into it, no matter. Uh, you know who's playing for you. Um, it's always about being able to adjust to kind of what their game plan is going to be, and, and uh, uh, you know continuing to figure out ways to, to get the most out of our guys. It seemed like a game challenge where he could make checks and everything like that. That's kind of unique for a rookie quarterback in his first start. What was it that gave you that confidence? Yeah, I think it's just a testament to, to him and, and uh, coming in and studying and, and taking advantage of you know kind of being able to sit back a little bit and, and really learn. Um, you know, uh, he's got he's got great guys in the room. Charles does a great job getting them ready, um, being able to sit there and, and talk to Ryan and talk to Malik. And, uh, you know, he, he, he did a good job taking advantage of those opportunities to continue to learn and make sure he had a full grasp of the offense. How much did you think some of the extra things you 
did, like whether it's out there on Mondays after practice on those days. How much do you think that factors? Yeah, I think it all does. Uh, you know, again, it's a it's a testament to Charles London, um, the amount of time that he spent with him, and, and uh, you know, when went out and had a good game, and, and, and all that stuff paid off for sure. Yep. How, how rare is that for a guy with so little experience? And have you kind of thought that in him, seen that in him too? Yeah, there's a, there's there's definitely a certain um, confidence, swagger, whatever you want to call it, uh, that was evident when you watched the tape. Um, you know, when when we were back evaluating him, um, and and you know he does a good job of not not crossing that line, right? Because it's a fine line between. Uh, you know, being confident and, and being on the, the, the wrong side of that. So uh, he's done a good job of coming in here and working and earning the respect of his teammates. How impressive is that swagger? How contagious is it, particularly when it turns into a big play? Yeah, yeah. I think, um, you know, from, from anyone, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, Hop with his, his touchdown celebrations or Ryan with his finger roll or Will getting fired up, Derek, you know, any, anytime our guys are able to go out there and play with energy, uh, and enthusiasm, especially after making a big play, uh, and it's it's definitely a contagious vibe that that kind of you know caught fire for us the other day. How impressive was it that he was able to check into and check out of things uh, at the line? It seemed like he had good command of, of what he was out there to do. Yeah, yeah, he did a good job of, of executing the, the game plan. Um, so uh, luckily for us, we you know got another game plan coming up here pretty quickly. Didn't have much time to marinate on it, so. Um, you know, we'll, we'll we'll see if he's able to continue to take strides. How much do you expect things to How much do you expect things to change now that there's game film on it that people have seen? Uh, not much. What you think about Traylon's first game back there in a while and how quickly he was able to? Yeah, it was good to see Trey running. Um, you know, had a couple opportunities there for us. Uh, uh, you know, the, the both balls on the sideline. You know, had was his. His speed was evident, so that was encouraging. Uh, it was good to see. Uh, he's big, he's strong, and he's fast, and we wanted to play like he's big, strong, and fast. The, the first one, did they get a hand on it? It was hard to tell in the replay whether somebody knocked away. Or was yeah, it? I think it was just a good play by the DB. How did like, things go when Dillard came in and Nick went to ride, and maybe mm-hmm. what's the challenge against Pittsburgh? They, uh, I mean, uh, it's a challenge. I feel like we talk about these guys every week in terms of the, the defensive ends and the, the DPRs. So, uh, you know, this week's no different. They got two really good ones. Um, can't just focus all your attention on one of them, on, on TJ, obviously. Uh, you know, Hot Smith does a great job, um, disruptive. So it's going to be a challenge for, for those tackles for sure. Um, and like we've talked about before, everyone's got a piece of it. Uh, you know, wide receivers have to do a great job of winning fast. Um, Quarterback's got to do a great job of getting the ball out of his hand. So, uh, you know, it's it's going to be a, a, a whole team effort to make sure that, that we're neutralizing those two players. That part of the passing aspect, very successful in, in the game, obviously. And you know coming in, Levis knew how to do that. But how much did that show in, in the practice squad? Uh, or not practice squad, the scout team reps and things that he was doing? Yeah, I mean, we evaluate every rep. And, and you know, our, our position coaches do a great job of being able to go and, and watch that tape with our guys. Um, to make sure that that they're consistently not only being evaluated but but uh, being coached and in you know uh, improving because uh, because when when your number's called you got to be ready and, and those are those are valuable reps that our guys do a really good job of taking advantage of um, and Will's no different. How much was uh, his ability seemingly to process information quickly once the ball was snapped and how much did that help the protection and also help the receivers to you know, be able to get open and make plays? Yeah, I think our our line did a great job. Um, of keeping them clean for the most part, you know, uh, they, they they were inside out. Um, they they were able to give him a clean pocket, and and you know made sure that he felt comfortable in there. So, um, you know, hats off to our guys up front being able to go and keep him clean and allow him to get comfortable. What do you say to Malik, what do you say to Malik to kind of keep him engaged and, and with the plan? Yeah, I mean, he's he's close to being on the field, you know what I mean? So he's got to prepare as if he's a starter. Uh, the message to him is no different than, than it is to, to anybody else in the locker room. So uh, he's got to continue to do a good job of, of preparing like he's a starter um, and, and make sure that when his number's called, he's able to go in there and play well. Good. One more. Go ahead. Uh, really big arm, able to make those off-platform throws. Are you able to do stuff with like how deep of a drop back he takes out of play action? And yeah, stuff? that gets tricky because that changes the launch point, and now you're you're putting those. You're really stressing the the tackles uh, when you start to really try to deepen up the the drop. So uh, try try to not really change anything for him because we want those guys up front to be as comfortable as possible. Cool. Thank you, guys.